This is MSJ Chem. In the second video on analysis of proteins, I'll be looking at gel electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is a technique for the analysis and separation of a mixture based on the movement of charged particles in an electric field. As we saw in a previous video, the charge on an amino acid depends on the pH. At a pH which is lower than the pH of its isoelectric point, the amino acid has a positive charge and forms a cation. At its isoelectric point, an amino acid has both a positive and a negative charge, therefore it is electrically neutral. At a pH which is greater than the pH of its isoelectric point, an amino acid has a negative charge and it forms an anion. So amino acids carry different charges depending on the pH and therefore can be separated when placed in a buffer solution. We'll start by looking at the steps in gel electrophoresis. The first step is the amino acid mixture is placed in the center of a gel. The gel is usually polyacryl amide. Next, a potential difference is applied. Depending on the pH of the buffer solution, the amino acids will move at different rates towards the oppositely charged electrodes. Amino acids that have a positive charge in the buffer solution are attracted to the cathode. Amino acids that have a negative charge in the buffer solution are attracted to the anode. After separation, the amino acids are sprayed with a locating agent, which is ninhydrin, an organic dye. Finally, the amino acids are identified by measuring the distance traveled and comparing with known samples. Next we look at an example. A mixture of the amino acids serine, glutamic acid and lysine was separated using electrophoresis and a buffer of pH 5.7. A drop containing the mixture was placed in the center of the paper and a potential difference was applied. The amino acids were developed and the following results were obtained. So in this diagram on the left we have the negative electrode and on the right we have the positive electrode. We can see that amino acid A has moved towards the negative electrode, amino acid C has moved towards the positive electrode and amino acid B has not moved in the electric field. Next we'll identify amino acids A, B and C. Amino acid A is lysine. The pH of the buffer, which is 5.7, is less than the pH of the isoelectric point of lysine, which is pH 9.7. Therefore, the amino acid will be positively charged and is attracted to the negative electrode. Amino acid B is serine. The isoelectric point of serine is 5.7, which is the same as the pH of the buffer solution. Therefore, the amino acid will have no overall charge and no movement in an electric field. And finally, amino acid C, which is glutamic acid. The pH of the buffer is greater than the isoelectric point of glutamic acid, which is pH 3.2. Therefore, the amino acid will be negatively charged and is attracted to the positive electrode. 